Hi everybody, it's Diana. I'm just going to show you a really quick um, tip for using the letterpress plates. Um, and that is going to show you how, see how you can see the love on the back of this card? And it's actually um, debossed or it's um, into the card. So it's kind of hard to see, but it, is, it does have um, some texture to it. But let me show you how, how I did that. Um, this is the Lots of Love letterpress. And it's in the mini catalog. And you're supposed to use them, or you're, you can use them with the craft pads. And I'm, I kind of like to use them just for um, the embossing part of them. But what I do like to do is make that show up a little bit more. If you just run it through the machine, this is what you're going to get. So you can see, you know, that it's um, debossed or whatever the word is. So you can kind of see that it's pushed into the paper. But if you want to show up a little bit more, you are going to use your Versamark pad. And this is so easy. So all I did was I just inked up my letterpress with the Versamark all over. And then I took, um, for this card, I took a piece of Regal Rose. And the card went this way, so I want my wording to be um, the right way. So I laid my card on it like this. Now it's best if you put another piece of cardstock, and this one is um, smaller, but you know you, you could use a bigger piece, but because then I would cut this um, the regal rose piece out a little smaller. So then um, you're going to use your big shot. Let me slide it into place here. You're going to use the, um, tab one. So you want this to say tab one. And then you're going to lay your plate on there. Let me move this over so you can see. You're going to lay that right directly on the multi-purpose platform. Then you're going to take your clear plate and put it on there. Now I have this marked embossing only because I have one that I just like to use for embossing. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a push just till it catches. And then I'm going to put that through without hitting the tripod thing. So we're going to put that through the big shot like that. I'll move that out of the way. Take all my little pieces off. And now look what you got. So now it's darker like a Versamark pad does. Neat, huh? And then I'll show you the finished card again. So this is what the card would be. And this is what will go on my blog tomorrow. And again, so here's the difference. This is just strictly ran through the big shot with a letterpress. Same um, recipe or whatever, or same layering, but doesn't have any Versamark. So you can kind of see it, but it's not as pronounced. And then this one is the one that has had the Versamark on it. So that's just a different way to do it. So hopefully um, you'll give those a shot. Um, I like the love, lots of love one because it's just got so many different writings and stuff on it. And you can cut them out, you know, the pieces that you want. But um, give it a try. Thanks for stopping by.